Welcome back. Let's continue now. This is the Saturday edition of Weekend Live. Now, on the 19th of July, 2024, the Mintech Science Convention of Innovators, Mintech Sci, will bring together the brightest young minds in South Africa's scientific community for a day of innovation, as well as discovery and collaboration at large. Uh, this exciting symposium designed for researchers and postgraduate students under the age of 35 will be showcasing cutting-edge research and projects in the fields of mineral innovation, science, engineering, and technology. Mintech Sci promises to inspire, educate, and spark meaningful conversations and connections amongst the next generation of scientific leaders. So to chat a little bit more about this endeavor, this project itself, Mindla Ndovu, Head of Communications, now joins us virtually. Mindla, good morning. Thanks for your time on the SABC at this hour. Good morning and thank you for inviting us. It's, it's an exciting time, it's an exciting opportunity and an exciting initiative for the country. Perhaps, you know, on the back of Mintech also being acknowledged as a pioneer in mineral and metallurgical innovation. I mean, you're now hosting Mintech Sci. Tell us a little bit more about the conference, the objective at large of organizing it. Thank you so much. I think perhaps to create some context, I'll start with who Mintech is. So. We are an entity of the state under the auspices of the Department of Minerals, yes. uh, Mineral Resources and Energy, now to be known as Mineral Resources and Mineral and Petroleum Resources. Um, our role is to drive research, development and innovation in the mineral technology space. And we work with industry to find mineral solutions um, and solutions that make uh, the sector of mining better in, in, in essence. Mm. And you will understand that that will then require a lot of skills, um, a lot of um, innovate, innovative ideas, but those ideas come from people. And therefore we recognize people as a, a big part of this venture uh, of, uh, of research development and innovation. And we decided to, to form this platform to create those opportunities for young scientists and young researchers who also are seeking to contribute to this research development and innovation. Yeah. Um, and MintSci um, is that platform that will bring together these young researchers and some of the old hands in research. So Mandla, speak to the themes that will be addressed. Speak to the specific opportunities available, the collaborations amongst industry professionals with, within the science field at large. Yeah, um, there's a lot of uh, important areas of focus in, in, in the industry. Uh, some of them include um, energy. Mm -hmm. um, you know that energy is a, is a, key, is a key subject. Um, we're also looking at emerging technologies. Uh, people are talking about AI, etc. We want to know how it affects this industry and how we can use it as a tool to grow the industry. Um, we're talking about um, mineral um, ways of, of, of extracting minerals now that it's becoming more difficult and more challenging to extract minerals. So we're looking for extractive solutions. And these young people are going to be contributing to this course on, on, on those topics. Um, we're looking at the environment. Um, you know that one of the areas that we're dealing with as an industry is the area of ownerless and derelict mines yeah. and, and how does um, uh, the industry move, uh, make, make sure that as we move into the future, we don't experience such problems and how do we solve these problems in this particular stage. Well, so those are some of the topics we're looking at. I mean, it, it obviously sounds like it's, it's filled with opportunities at large, given where the world is moving and, and also science and innovation. Perhaps in terms of key speakers and those who will be addressing the conference, what can we expect on that front? Um, talk to us also a little bit more about the strategies and initiatives to retain professionals within, you know, um, the industry at large regarding mineral and innovation. I mean, is that a problem in South Africa? Yeah, we have an exciting lineup of speakers. Um, we have uh, the CEO of the National Research Foundation, uh, uh, Dr. Fulufelo Nelamondo, who is going to be our uh, keynote speaker. Um, we're very highly regarded worldwide for his work. Um, we have Professor Glenn Noyla from VETS. We've got our own Professor Anderson Govender, uh, who is a mineral uh, processing executive at Mintech. We have Professor Christy Dorfling from Stellenbosch University. Uh, we have many, many, many others. 
And we do this just to link into your second question, um, because we realize that MinTech has an important role um, in developing uh, talent, um, not just for MinTech, but for the industry at large. Yes. And of course, um, um, South Africa is a big minerals player, and therefore it's got a lot of skilled people. And therefore those skills, skilled people are of course going to be in demand uh, across the world. So it's important that we keep on um, not just mining the resources, but mining the people who are able to help us in developing the industry. And that is this is one of um, this is part of what uh, this process is about. Well, because obviously these efforts need to be sustained to address the long term needs of the industry and, and perhaps also ultimately drive economic growth. Um, talk to us a little bit more about that, um, the role that minerals also plays in, in our country's economy at large. Yeah, um, even though the mining sector um, mm. has has sort of shrunk in terms of the people it employs yeah. over the years, um, uh, but it's still a very, very important player uh, in, in our economy. And it has room for growth and there are opportunities for growth. Um, we, 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 we think that the sector is going through a cycle um, and you know the cycle will go up, it will go down. Um, and we need to be ready for the up of the cycle. Um, so it's important, the, the min, it's important to acknowledge the mineral sector as a big player. Um, the platinum group sector, um, platinum and related uh, minerals, that alone uh, 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 has over 180 people, 180,000 people employed in this country. Um, therefore, it's important that um, we work towards not just maintaining what we have, but growing the sector, growing the opportunities, and making sure that the industry um, has room uh, to employ more people, has room to contribute to our economy further. Well, Mantla, thank you for your time this morning, but thank you for sharing that information as well. We'll leave that conversation there. Mantla and Glovo, in fact, Head of Communications, really just talking to us about the Mintech Science a Convention of Innovators aiming to bring together the brightest young minds of researchers in the country, driving economic growth and, of course, addressing the long-term needs of the industry at large. Again, thank you to him for joining us at this hour.